Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. I'm just staging a picture here for the final shot of this pineapple salsa. Stay tuned, you're gonna wanna check it out, man. And this salsa is incredibly quick to put together. The longest time will take maybe 15 minutes to prepare all the ingredients, the chopping of the onion, uh, the peel and coring of the pineapple, and the tomato can be a little bit to work. 10-15 minutes, I'm gonna go in with garlic, yeah. Right off the bat, I am upsetting some, some people here. Chris, garlic don't go into salsa. This is my salsa, this is not your salsa, so catch yourself. Here I have tomato, which I chopped up. You would have seen me doing that earlier. And what I did was I went into the, I don't know if your grocery store have that sort of last minute, you know, things are just about to go bad or whatever section well in the vegetable section they have that and I got this assortment of um, cherry tomatoes orange yellow and there was a sort of a, a striped version in there as well some red onion and we're not turning the stone to stove on at all so you can see exactly why I like this thing and I want to share it with you guys and it's so simple as I said. Eh? So we've got that garlic, we've got that tomato, we've got that red onion. Let's go in with some sea salt, fresh ground black pepper. If you wanted to add some diced cucumber to here, you can certainly do that. If you wanted to add some diced avocado, my favorite. I wish I had some. And look how nice and I sort of diced it up the same as the tomato. <laughs> Boy, I think sweet. Next up, we want some acidity and some citrus in there. So I'm going to go in with the juice of one lime. I should have squeezed this before, but I thought the effect on camera would be awesome. All right, but you guys get the picture. We're going to go in with the juice of one lime. And if your lime is being stubborn as mine are, just go in with a fork and squeeze and turn. I don't have one of them gadgets that's like the garlic press where you press the juice out of the limes. But you get the picture here. Notice how much juice I'm getting out of it now. One for Chris, zero for lime. Can't beat me at my game, Mr. Lime. Next up, we've got, let me give that another. Another quick stir. You see the colors already coming together nicely. We're gonna go in with a nice big whack of cilantro. I know my British friends, I believe you call this coriander. And something is missing. While I was out here this morning watering the plants, I came across something which will fit perfect in this salsa. I don't know if you guys can see it yet, but where should be? Hold on a second. We may need to go closer. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's a jalapeno pepper in there. We're going to get it from a different angle now so you can see there. So fresh out of the garden, we're going to add a little bit of kick to the salsa with this. No, it isn't the biggest <laughs> jalapeno in the world. It's the first time I'm growing jalapeno peppers, but um, it's the first crop. So I'm really not complaining, but it is going to add some nice flavor to our um, salsa and there we go Mr. Pepper all chopped up and I'm going in with seeds and everything we want to get that kick from it now I'm thinking even more I want that avocado in there yeah Chris here CaribbeanPod.com always a pleasure to have you all in the kitchen with me in under well it took us what three minutes to put this together another maybe 10 or 15 minutes to dice everything up a wonderful refreshing salsa your favorite chips or you know this will make a wicked topping for burgers as well so don't sleep on it eh? store in the fridge and pull it out when your people reach or when you're you're taking off to go by your friend and things enjoy your weekend guys my little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.